In this video, I want to talk about fault codes E919, which you'll see flashing here with the red light. First thing you'll notice when this comes up is that there is no sun symbol here and no tap symbol here. So the unit has forced itself to stop and it won't run if the thermostats come on or even if the cylinder is cold. E919 means that the unit's tried to do its Legionella and heat the cylinder up to 60 degrees, but after eight hours it has failed to do so. And this is caused by one of three things. The first one is that your immersion heater here has failed. So you need to get your electrician to check when you turn the immersion heater on that actually this works and draws current. And inside here there's also a thermostat. It's very important that the thermostat inside, when you take the lid off here, is turned up as high as it can go. So on our cylinders you'll see five is as high as it should go. If the thermostat is set too low then the immersion won't heat the water hot enough and you get E919 error. The next thing that's really important is the blue tank sensor here. You can see needs to go inside the tank at least this sort of length, about 100 millimeters, so right against the back wall of the cylinder. It shouldn't be able to go any further than this. Um, so this is very important. And the other thing to watch out for is the height. Notice on this cylinder here, the pocket is quite low. The cylinder sensor must be at least level with or above the immersion. If it's below the immersion, down here or in here, for instance, you will get this error every week when it does a Legionella. You may also see E464 error. So, once you've established your sensor is okay, all you need to do is come back to your remote controller, turn on the controller here, turn on the hot water here, you'll notice the fault code goes, and the unit very quickly starts operating again. If it goes wrong in a week's time, you'll see E919 again, and you need to call that engineer.